day to all. My name is Audrey Juan. In this video, I'm going to discuss about compound interest. So, what is compound interest? Compound interest is the addition of interest to the principal sum of a loan or deposit, or in other words, interest on interest. It is a result of reinvesting interest rather than paying it out so that interest in the next period is then earned on the principal sum plus previously accumulated interest. Compound interest is standard in finance and economics. Definition of terms Compound amount, also called maturity value, is an accumulated amount obtained by adding the principal and the compound interest. Conversion the number of times in a year the interest will be compounded. The following are the common conversion periods in a year. Annually conversion to 1 Semi-annually conversion to 2 Quarterly conversion to 3 And monthly conversion to 4 Number of conversion periods the total number of times interest is calculated for the entire term of the investment or loan. Annual interest rate or normal rate. The stated rate of interest per year. Periodic rate. The interest rate per conversion period. Present value of F. This is the principal P that will accumulate to F if there is an interest at the periodic rate I for N conversion periods. Compound interest is usually used by banks in calculating interest for long-term investments and loans such as savings account and time deposits. In this type of interest, the interest due at stipulated interval is added to the principal and earns interest thereafter. It implies that the principal increases over a period of time, resulting in an increase in interest earned at every compounding period. Thus, compound interest is an interesting result from the periodic addition of simple interest to the principal amount or simply the difference between the compound amount and the original principal. Now, let us have an example. Find the compound amount earned on 30,000 pesos for 2 years at 5% compound annually. We have the given present value. 30,000 pesos. Annual interest, 5%. Time, 2 years. And conversion period, 1. We must first convert rate of 5% into a decimal. How to convert them? Divide 5 into 100 and it would be 0 0.05. Now, we are going to use the formula but before we're going to use this formula, we must find the total amount of conversion period and periodic rate. In finding the periodic rate, divide annual interest over conversion period. So it would be 0 0.05 over 1 is equals to 0 0.05. In finding total amount of conversion period, you must multiply time and conversion period. So 2 times 1 is equals to 2. Now, we can use this formula in finding maturity value. Substitute the formula to the given numbers. So it would be F is equals to 30,000 pesos times 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power of 2. 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power of 2 is equals to 1.1025. Now, 30,000 pesos times 1.1025 is equals to 33,075 pesos. Our maturity value for the compounded amount earned on 30,000 pesos for 2 years at 5% compound annually is 33,075 pesos. 
another example. Find the present value of 8,650 pesos due in one year if the interest rate is 10% compounded quarterly. We have the given maturity value, 8,650 pesos, interest rate 10%, time 1 year, and conversion period 4. Divide 10 into 100 for us to convert 10% into a decimal number which would equal to 0 0.1. We are going to find the total amount of conversion period and periodic rate. So in finding total amount of conversion period, multiply 1 and 4 which would equal to 4. For periodic rate, divide 0 0.1 and 4 which would equal to 0 0.025. In this case, we are looking for the present value, not the future value. So, we are going to use another formula, which is P is equals to F times 1 plus I to the power of negative N. Substitute everything so it would be P is equals to 8,650 pesos times 1 plus 0 0.025 to the power of negative 4. Compute it with a calculator and the answer would be 7,836.47. The present value is 7,836.47 pesos. Next example, Scott borrowed $3,500 from a bank. After four years, his loan increased to $5,000. What was the interest rate if compounded monthly? Here, we have the given present value, $3,500. Time, four years. Conversion period, 12. And maturity value, $5,000. We need to find the rate. The formula for rate is R equals to M multiplied by MT root of F over P minus 1. So that would be R equals to 12 multiplied by 12 times 4 root of 5,000 over 3,500 minus 1. We are going to simplify. 12 times 4 is equals to 48. And 5,000 over 3,500 is 1.429. So R equals to 12 multiplied by 48 of 1.429 minus 1. If you compute it, the answer would be 0 0.09. Now, since we are talking about rate, we need to multiply it by 100 to get the percentage. So, 0 0.09 times 100 is equal to 9%. Fourth example, how many years will it take for 9,500 pesos to become 19,000 pesos at 14% compounded semi-annually? We have the given present value. 9,500 pesos. Maturity value, 19,000 pesos. Conversion period, 2. Lastly, rate, 14%. And when converted into a decimal number, it would be 0 0.14. Divide 0 0.14 to 2 to find the periodic rate. So, 0 0.14 divided by 2 is equals to 0 0.07. In finding time, we are going to use this formula. T equals logarithm of F over P over M times logarithm of 1 plus I. So now, substitute it with all of the given values and it would become T equals logarithm of 19,000 over 9,500 over 2 times logarithm of 1 plus 0 0.07. Simplify both numerator and denominator. So, 19,000 
divided by 9,500 is equal to 2. 1 plus 0 0.07 is equal to 1.07. We have now logarithm 2 over 2 times logarithm 1.07 times logarithm 2 divided by 2 times logarithm 1.07 is equal to 5.12. Our final answer is 5.12 years. For the last example, what is the compound interest of a $5,000 loan paid $7,000 for a year? All we have to do is to subtract maturity value from present value to get the compound interest. So we have $7,000 minus $5,000. Subtract it and the answer is $2,000. The compound interest is $2,000. This concludes all for this topic. We hope this video tutorial helped you in better understanding about compound interest. For more reference about compound interest, you can visit the link that is being shown right now. Thank you and God bless.